this is Larry. This is day 25th of the Lico Deli Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, well, you know, uh, obviously, uh, Merry Christmas and all the good stuff. If you celebrate it, great. If you don't, eh, still enjoy it, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I am a little bit tired today, not going to lie. Um, and you could kind of, I kind of showed that off in the preview, uh, which is that I've been doing a lot of hiking. Uh, but before that, before we do this video, basic calculated too, I want to say a couple of things. One is, like I said, hope everyone's doing well. Um, two is, um, I'm in the mountains in Panama right now. Uh, and apparently, uh, for Christmas, um, the fireworks going on. Uh, like, you know, uh, yeah, so... If you hear some weird sound in the background, my apologies. Uh, you know, maybe it'll add something to the festiveness. Uh, and then the other thing is, what was I going to say? I forgot the other thing. So maybe, maybe it was an end point. But I guess the other thing was that I'm very tired because you can see that I did a huge hike. Hope you enjoyed that that intro because why not? Uh, maybe th that'll be that'll make this a very special uh, lead code channel or something i don't know uh, the other thing is i'm clearly doing it from bed there's no table uh in my very uh rustic um uh, uh mountain house right now uh definitely check me out on instagram if you're curious about panama or like my situation in panama uh and you know if you want to give me feedback on that that'll be fine too anyway today's problem is 227 basic calculated two um yeah okay so, I mean, I've done this before. I think I try to do some recursive thing in general, um, but this is actually um, a very good problem to practice uh, of shunting yard. And I'm not going to lie, I actually never learned shunting yard in school. It doesn't really come up that much in competitive, though maybe I'm wrong in, in the sense that uh, maybe it comes up, and because I'm bad at it, I don't solve those problems, so I don't think it comes up, right? Um, but that said, so that, that's Kind of go for it together. Let's learn together. I am clearly solving these lives. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you do it better or worse or just how you do in general. Um, yeah, so also and feel free to fast forward, skip ahead, whatever you need to do. Okay. So, yeah. My understanding is that you have, you have, um, order, um, you have operation precedence. And then you just pop off stuff um, as much as you can uh, to, um, to yeah, uh, okay, that's it, right? So basically, um, so my, I'm not gonna lie, um, today's video is probably not as explanation-y as I try to be. Uh, one is, to be frank, my understanding of it is not as, um, it's not as refined as some of my other things. Um, two is also, uh, I, I always forget two. Why did I say the two things? But two is that, you know, maybe you could see how I try to figure out from some first principle things that I remember, but maybe not. So we'll see it together. So then now we have the number Q, if I remember. So let's set that up. Um, and then we have the operation stack, operator stack. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, actually, is it number Q? I think number Q is if we want to convert it from a, an infix to a postfix, but I think we just need the calculation, so I think this could be a stack because we just pop off anyway, right? Could be wrong on that one, so let We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, and then now... I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, right? Um, oh, yeah, we have to define the operation precedence. So then we just, let's just say we have a helper function. Uh, pre precedence, maybe? Precedence? I don't even know how to spell anymore. Um, call it op. If op in uh, this, let's just return zero. Else, uh, if op in da, 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 uh, return one for higher. Yeah. 
and then maybe we turn negative one if it's other though we should maybe assert force here uh because this should never happen right as far as i know at least my current understanding of the problem obviously in in uh you know writing a formula you can have the more operations than this so but adding an assert here will allow us to know that okay something that we thought was true is not true so um so yeah and you can also write this in a different way of course but that's the way that i have it uh we don't even have to return i suppose um okay and then now yeah then we just go for for mm, oh the integers are non-negative in, in the range okay that part i just want to make sure um that we're not doing anything funky so f is s okay then we now have uh okay so if c is numeric meaning it is one of the numbers what do we do well we push it on the number stack in theory right uh unless the top of the uh i'll add a thingy to denote this but on top of the stack i'm gonna have like a um like a, a a thing to let us know if we should continue um hmm, don't know if that's the best way of doing it to be honest but we'll see oh actually and also rep two. yeah handle the spaces so let's just strip this eh, we'll just ignore it uh okay so if number stack negative one is equal to to two then um then yeah then we could pop the 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 empty string um and you can handle this other ways but this is the way that i'm thinking about handling it uh, uh um and then in this case we append this thing and then we put uh no that's it and then else that means that if the top of the stack is a number then we actually append it right uh okay and then now we want to append x times 10 plus and c right um and this is just handle multi-digit numbers so yeah and then now else if c is um, uh are there only these things okay some spaces so maybe we'll just skip spaces uh now why not uh, and then we just continue and then else this is an operator so okay so while length of operator stack is greater than zero and operator stack of negative one so the the presence of the top of the stack is uh greater than or is it greater than or equal to or just greater than hmm let me think about this Yeah, I think this is equal to, I, I, because if you get a plus and a minus, so that's what I'm thinking in my head, is that if I'm doing a plus and a minus, then you do want to get rid of the plus and to push the the, the minus, right? Or something like that. So, yes, C, um, then we pop it. Um, so then now we pop the stack. Uh, yeah, upgrade your stack, dot pop up as you go to this thing and then we use it on the the last two numbers on the number stack so yeah uh hmm. yeah i mean i think i'm so right now i'm just thinking um about a and b right like i have two things so b is uh, you go to up uh number stack dot pop a is you go to number stack dot pop um right um but i forget i i'm trying to think which one makes sense to be like you know um and most of these things don't uh, or it doesn't matter for plus or multiplication but for subtraction and division it does so we'll play around we'll just test this later i think um and then yeah and then we could just uh how do we want to do uh, 
Yeah, okay, so then we have a dispatch table. Let's, let's set that up. Uh, let's just say do, 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 do. we have lambda x or a b uh, a plus b right is that valid code uh, let me run this real quick just for syntax hours okay so that is syntax hour how do I hmm Usually it tells me where it is more precisely, but I, maybe this, I don't know. Though you could also use the add function, I guess. Um, like, was it op.add or something? Mm, let me let me look that up real quick. I think it's opt operator.add. Is it subtract or sub? Sub, I don't know. All right. Also, uh, uh, division. We might have to to uh, do something funky. Um, the reason is because I'm not sure how division works. To truncate towards zero. So Python does not truncate towards zero, right? For negative numbers. So that's why um, that's why I have to add this thing, right? Which is uh, I think this is right. It could be. I mean, this may have some sensitivity issues, but I think that's in theory, right? So now this patch of op. Uh, of a b um we can put it back into the number stack right and in theory i think that is it um at the way n we push c on a thingy stack and also we on the number stack we want to make sure that we put in a, an empty space to denote that we're ready for a new uh, number. Um, that one maybe is a little bit sketchy, actually, to be honest. Maybe I'll have to think about how I want to handle this. This could, that that part is easy, the sketchiest part. Um, mm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, maybe no, maybe I won't do this. Well, I'll just write last. Um, last num uh, number last is equal to force and then here we can write number last is equal to force and also number last is equal to force and here uh, oops not here number last is equal to true but only after we implement it so then here this is a little bit easier which is if number last then we do this thing uh, else uh, we just append this as a new number and I think that's a little bit simpler uh, than this weird hack that I was doing um, and then at the way end we should have one number which is the top of the number stack oh let's get rid of this as well um, so number stack of zero um, of course assert that number stack the length is equal to one um, because if it's not equal to one we have some funky issue Let's give it some spin. Um, I don't know if this is right yet per se, uh, but okay. I, f I forget if this sub or subtract, that's why. Um, but that's fine. That's not that hard to fix. Uh, okay. Oh, w what language am I thinking of? But either way. Um, okay, so there is some, so there is an error here, which is unfortunate. But let's see. Uh, now we're in debugging time, so then now we we just print out everything we know, uh, which is the number stack and the operator stack, and then see where where the situation is for at least the first case. 
Okay, so three, we put the three, okay, plus we do this, two, okay, then we multiply, that's good, okay, we add another two, um, so they have this thing. Oh, we, we just never do it, okay, I'm, I'm silly, I forgot to actually do, because now we can actually parse this thing, which is, wow, length of operator stack is greater than zero, um, we do this thing again, uh, we could probably... Um, hmm. We can probably dry this, and by dry I mean do not repeat yourself. So let's do that right here. Um, let's just say one one operation, um, and then you have this thing here, maybe. And I think that should be okay. Um, so yeah. Then now we can get rid of these. Uh, yeah, and of course, this will form me, oh, there's a giant bee just flew by. Uh, this will form me an error if uh, whatever, so let's let's see how it works for the other one. Of course, I have to pay to win, but I'm too cheap, so. Hmm. Okay, so we still have a sort of force on this thing. Why is that? Let's print it out real quick. Um, maybe we do space as well or something. What what other operations are there? Oh, I just have a typo, right? I said this. Uh, okay. There we go. That's a very silly typo. But okay. So now we can see that we're good. Mm, I want to do two things. One is just make sure that subtraction works. Um, and then the other in the right order. And then the other is 9 divided by 2, something like that. And then the other thing is, can we get negative numbers on a subtraction? I'm trying to think off my head. Um, because the division will always do first, right? So that's a little bit awkward. Maybe, maybe it's not possible. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. But, uh, but let's, let's at least try those two to show that uh, um, I get the A and the B correctly. Um, because if it's wrong, then it will be easily shown to be wrong. Um, I'm not super confident about this yet, to be honest, because I am learning this right now with you. Um, ooh, my video is a little bit weird, but okay. Um, but let's just give it some bit anyway, because I am tired, and yeah. Okay, cool. Um, 634 day streak. That's also a video streak, so thank you. Uh, yeah. I got some batch of whatever. Okay. Yay, I'm in the top. 0.12%. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, cool. Uh, let's go over this real quick. Um, this is going to be a linear uh, linear time, linear space algorithm because uh, even though we have two stacks, of course, the sum of these two st stacks will be at most a length S. Um, for ooh, not this one. This one, of course, um, for each operation, no matter what happens, or not even an operation, but you did it no matter what happens, we only push it to the stack once and pop it from the stack um, amortized once. Um, so, yeah. Because for each operator, we kind of push and pop some stuff. But So that, so this is going to be linear time, linear space by that reasoning, right? If you count it backwards. Um, cool. I'm actually really hungry right now, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to go and that's all I have. Uh, happy holidays, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Hope you enjoy wherever you are and hope you, you know, do whatever you want, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.